Uh, yeah, my name is Jay Prince. I basically, I'm a hip hop artist. Ranges from soul, soul kind of soulful kind of hip hop to the hardest kind of stuff to like, you know, to more jazzy stuff. So like, I'm kind of, I, I just kind of, you know, I'm just kind of all around with a hip hop, and I'm a big hip hop fan as well. So, and a big Ram fan. So it's just so you can imagine the, the, the mess. <laughs> Herzlich willkommen auf Hip Hop Day. Mein Name ist Aria. Wir sind auf dem Hype Festival 2017. Es neigt sich dem Ende zu und ich sitze hier ja, mit jemandem, der heute auch aufgetreten ist. Jay Prince, how are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you doing, bro? Yeah, I'm feeling good, man. How was your performance today uh, here at Hype Festival? Uh, it was great, man. I really enjoyed it. First time doing Hype Festival. Actually, first time doing a festival in Germany as well. So it was good, man. I was the opener, so I had to kind of kick things off and really get the. You know what I mean? It's always like the hardest. Not the hardest. It's the most challenging things, and I, and I, I like I like challenges. So. Yeah started off great man so I enjoyed it we just talked about uh, that now uh, off camera we can talk about it on camera as well how's the feeling when you perform your music in Germany in a different country actually that maybe doesn't even hundred percently understand what you're rapping about what mm. you're saying on stage how's it feeling how's the vibe uh, it feels great man like you said man when people like you know it's not like their first language it's like even a blessing you're like wow like I can even take it over here and do this so it's like I, for, for the most part I'm just like it's a blessing it's like I'm like, yeah, I fuck with you guys. You guys are sick. So I, I appreciate it and I just like, it just gives me more like adrenaline to just continue doing this issue. So yeah, man, I like it. Now the whole UK uh, rap scene, hip hop scene, grime thing, it kind of went global in the last couple of years, in the last two years. I feel like since Skepta shut down, went global, went, you know, big in the US, I feel like grime and UK hip hop has gotten such a spotlight also here in Germany and also uh, in the States. Why do you think did that happen in the last two years? Because you guys, your whole genre was working and working and working for centuries. Mm, I think it's just the time. For decades, sorry, yeah. centuries. <laughs> it's crazy, man. No, I mean, honestly, I just feel like it was just the time and I feel like everything has its time and everything has its moment. And I feel like just because it's authentic, it was the right time and it's going to be one of those things that lasts for a very long time because in London, we're just, you know, we're our own people and we just, it's a great time for the most part and like I said it's just I think it's just that time I feel like there's just certain times in music and just in entertainment and everything there's just it's that time now and you know what I mean like everyone get out of the way kind of yeah. thing but no but, but it's, it's good it's good it makes me feel happy like I'm just like this man I can do this show as well so yeah now to people who don't uh, don't already know you and don't know your music maybe you yeah. can explain to them your sound and you know there's the things that you do in your music what's special about you uh, yeah man I mean that's a very good question like well not a very good question but I guess a good time to explain uh, yeah my name is Jay Prince I basically I'm a hip-hop artist ranges from soul, soul kind of soulful kind of hip-hop to the hardest kind of stuff to like you know to more jazzy stuff so like I'm kind of I, I just kind of you know, I'm just kind of all around with a hip hop, and I'm a big hip hop fan as well. So, and a big Ram fan. So it's just so you can imagine the the, the mess. <laughs> so yeah, man, Jay Prince, hip hop artist, East London, Newham. That's where I'm from. So yeah. What are some of the uh, inspiration, influences, maybe even from the states or from England? Yeah. Guys that you maybe look up to, or even right now, say, man, they're killing shit right now. Uh, in terms of people killing it, I feel like there's a lot of people killing shit. Obviously, you already mentioned Skepta. There's people like guys like Avelino are killing it. Uh, Storms, you obviously. Um, there's a bunch of people from the UK. 808 Inc. who's a hip hop group, Loyal Kana. Like the list can go on. And yeah, I man, if anything, I just respectively like. I get inspired by everyone that's just doing it. You know what I mean? It's like it's just a push. You know what I mean? You see people doing shit that, that are from your from the same city as you and. You want to just keep pushing, and obviously on a big, on a, on like a, on the other side of things, the US side, obviously the Outcast. I was a big Outcast fan, most deaf. So you know what I mean. So like that's like that's the kind of shit I'm into. And yeah, man, you know what I mean. I just try and I don't know, you know what I mean. So those are the kind of people that like I'm like I respect highly. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like yeah, man, I want to do my shit too. And hopefully in the, in the long run, we're just all we're all there together. So yeah, man, that's that's, that's yeah. Outcast makes sense because your music is kind of, you said it yourself, it's a little jazzy also, it's a little experimental, it's a little, yeah. you know, out there. And Outcast is a, man, that yeah. makes sense that you yeah. said yeah. that. Yeah, I, I mean, Outcast obviously is beyond the world of everyone. Like, not, like they're in their own echelon and league yeah. that you don't even know when they're close. But definitely a, definitely a big influence and definitely like, not even an influence, just people, I'm a fan, you know what I mean? Before all of this like artist stuff, I just love music, period. Yeah. Just like you do, you know what I mean? So like, I just listen to music as well as just make it. So yeah, I fuck with Outkast, fuck with Most Def. 
you know what I mean? It's just, it's just, it's just the shit I really like, I listen to. A lot of people uh, want to put Andre 3000 in the list of, you know, top five rappers of all time, top 10 MCs of all time. Is he in there for you too? Or what is your top five list of MCs of wow. all time? Top five list of MCs. <laughs> okay. I'd say, this is, a, this is not, in no particular order, by the way. But obviously, for me, for me personally, I put most Def there. I put um, Andre Three Cray, obviously Andre Three Cray, Andre Three Stacks, um, Tupac. Um, who else did I? I had this conversation the other day. Uh, I'm trying to mix old and new. I put Kendrick in there as well, because it's just like you know what I mean. It's, it's but give respect when respect is due. You know what I mean. So that's four already, right? The five, the fifth one. Now we have Andre. We have Most Def. We had Andre Most Def. Did I say? Kendrick and Kendrick. who was the third one? I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay, keep, keep I said, on. I said Tupac. I said Tupac. Tupac, yeah, right. So Tupac, because I listened to Tupac when I was a kid. Like that's like one of the old heads I listened to, like back in the day. Um, the fifth one's a very good question. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'd put. Uh, it's crazy. That's very diverse because we got two LA yeah, artists, like, one Atlanta yeah. artists. Like you know. I, messed, I messed with Tupac like, like from 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 when I was, my, my brother used to. Always, that's it. And Kanye West. Oh wow. That's, I remember now. I remember. That's why it took me a while to think. That's like my top five for me. Like those are like top five people I like. To this day, I still wrote, have that musical rotation. So that's in no particular order. Andre 3000, Most Def, Tupac, uh, Kanye West, and I said someone else. Kendrick. 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 Uh, and Kendrick and Kendrick, yeah. Kendrick, Kendrick. Most yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's an impressive list, man. Thank you, man. When you look into the future, uh, what do you see for yourself in the couple coming months and you know end of 2017? What do you do you want to end the year with? Um, honestly, I want to just be able to end the year knowing that I did what I needed to do the whole year. I want to just be able to like, I don't know. I mean, towards the end of the year, I want to be doing a show back in London anyway. So I think it will be a good way to top it off. I want to just be able to give back home and. Just be more in tune with the people that support my music, you know what I mean? I feel like ultimately, obviously, when you do music, you're always in your bubble, you're always in your zone. I want to be able to like communicate with people a bit more and trying to do more shows and just reach out to more supporters or fans and just be like, yo, I'm here, guys. Just, just, you know what I mean? Just be present and just get to know my fans a bit more. That's more important for me because it's like, you, you, it's, it's not just about the music, it's also, also about the relationship that you have with people and the people that you touch, you know what I mean? So that's really important to me because you have a voice and influence and you know, I mean, not everybody gets the opportunity to have that kind of impact on people. So you, you kind of got to embrace it and move forward with it. And you know, what I mean, I feel like it's a special. It's a, I'm in a special position to do uh, to do the right thing. Yeah. Now, obviously, you being from London, I have to ask this: uh, Are you into football? Of course, man. What of team? Course. I'm an Arsenal fan. Oh man! I dare someone to say something. What? I'm a Chelsea fan. Ah, oh. 13 years in running. Man. You know what hurts me, right? Seth Fabregas is one of my favorite players. Oh, yeah. And that when he moved, they helped me so much. So he's an amazing. He's amazing. I know, I know. But you, I know. Had, you got an amazing squad right now, man. With Lacazette, that was a great. Yeah, Lacazette is a very. By the way, my friends know this. I bought Lacazette in FIFA 2015 in my career mode. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> laughed at me. I bought Ozil and Lacazette. People laughed at me. And look what happened. Yeah. They're on the same team. So I should be the Arsenal manager. Yeah, yeah. Arsene Wenger, hit him up, man. <laughs> I mean, it's like, we, we can work on something. We can work something out. You know what I mean? Well. What, what, the season's just started. We'll see what happens. I like to just, you know, brush things from behind the past because, you know, you know, Arsenal's history is not always that great in terms of winning trophies. But we won the FA Cup and stuff, so I'm proud of the team. Yeah. What do you think are the chances for the Europa League? Because, you know, Arsenal's now in the Europa League. That's right. It's maybe not the, you know, first mm. uh, European championship, but maybe the chances of winning it are higher. Yet the, uh, the pressure is also higher. I feel, kind of, like, you know? I feel like in terms of fitness and injury not even injury I just I, I feel like we'll do okay I wouldn't be surprised if we won because I know that we're capable of winning yeah. cup you know what I mean I know we can do that but I never underestimate the Europa League because there's other teams that have have that have won it you know what I mean and I've been playing every year in the yeah, Europa yeah. but I also feel like it's just another burden in the season because we still have to like play more games and it's not the Champions League and I, to my knowledge I feel like the Europa has more games right so I think oh, okay, that might be it. yeah and I don't know it's just I don't know I don't know I mean who knows, man? I'm not. I'm not entirely happy that we're not in the we're not yeah, in the Europa. Yeah. It kind of hurts me when they, when they did the draw the other day. I was like, wow, we're not uh, yeah. we're not in the Champions League. Well, yeah. It just hit me. But first time since uh, I don't know 19. Man, I don't. I was. I probably wasn't born. Yeah. All I know, I've seen Champions League in my life, yeah. and this is the first time. But um, I feel I think we can win it. I think we can win it. I don't think that we're gonna. 
I don't know. I really don't know. Like Arsenal is very unpredictable sometimes. You know what I mean? But that's why I don't know. I guess I'm still an Arsenal fan anyway. So. But I think that's the beauty of the uh, of the Premier League because nobody even knows. Man, Arsenal might end up fifth, or Manchester United didn't make it last year into exactly. the top four. It's six teams right now this year, kind of fighting for the yeah, champ yeah. champion uh, championship. Yeah, I mean the Premier League is definitely getting harder. As much as I hate to say it, Tottenham are also a threat now. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there's the Tottenham, Chelsea, Man City, yeah. Liverpool, yeah. obviously Manchester United. Like, you, you just never know. You know what I mean, Leicester City won it two seasons ago. Mares is still there. So, like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? It's just it, the Premier League is so unpredictable. I don't even think the, the transfer window is not even shut yet. So, things could happen in the next week. Who would you pick if you had to fix uh, one team for you know winning the title at the end of the season? Who would be your favorite? Wow. I don't know if I can tell this early because I feel like the transfer window just needs to be shut. Right. Okay, yeah, that's you know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. Because, but based on right now, um, I feel like Man United are really going to go for it. Yeah, but yeah. I, feel, I feel like they're going to try and go for it. Like they're, they're starting off pretty good and I'm just basing it on how they started the season. Yeah. Arsenal, I mean, I, I want us to finish top four. I want us to get Champions League. I also want us to win at least a trophy this season. So Premier League, hopefully, but I don't, I don't, you know, for the past five, 12 years, I guess I've been I've been understanding the, the, the dynamic within our team a bit more now. But um, I feel like Manchester United are going to try to go for it. I, I feel like, I don't know, probably Tottenham going to try to go for it as well because they were close last season. Like, yeah. They finished second. A couple of seasons. They were close a couple of seasons. Yeah. But they play at Wembley this year. And, so they, a little and they're bit Tottenham. So we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't talk about them. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, man, I just, I don't know. I think Manchester United are going to try to go for it. And what do you think about uh, next year, obviously 2018, England World Cup, you know? Oh, it's yeah. a hard topic for, for, for England because the last couple of times in the World Cup is, it was always like I was feeling okay they have a great squad they got mm. young players yeah. but somehow it didn't work out yeah like. I just feel like in general like England's always been a team that's always been not like we play very well in certain games I feel like we're still trying to get the rhythm it's yeah. always like it's just finding the rhythm we have the quality players we have the we have the we have the players we need you yeah. know what I mean we just need obviously that's just that more we need to gel and stick together like if you've seen in the past how Spain have played yeah, yeah. when they had their era you see Brazil when they had their era you see France when they had their era it's always about togetherness even when Portugal were playing with Luis Figo and Ronaldo was a baby like you just you, you see like Deco and all of them guys it was always a uh, what's it called? Chemistry. So I feel like England have the right players. We have the capable players to go far as a, as a squad. It just, it just, those things take time. And I feel like we've actually had better players over time. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm positive about it, man. I, I, you know what I mean? That's, that's how it is, man. I'm positive. All right, man. Thank you for your time. Amazing. Yeah, Let's good. look forward to the World Cup and to uh, new music <laughs> from Jay Prince yeah, yeah. being here in Germany. Hype Festival 2017. Hip Hop Day. Jay Prince. You know what it is. Thanks. Peace.